Hello, Facebook family. How are you all? I'm back again. <laughs> you can't get rid of me. I love you. I love you. That's my little grandson, Ray Ray, in the background. Uh, he's just pray fine. Uh, today I want to talk about. I want to talk about the prayer lines. Uh, they're beautiful, and I love them. I've been on them for a lot of years. A lot of years I've been on the prayer lines. Uh, but sometimes some people abuse them because they take a lot of these people weakness. And what I mean by weakness, they want to get money out of them through a prayer line. It's, it's ooh, Lord, that's so that's so evil. That's why a lot when I get on the prayer line now, I get on uh, I star six mute uh, 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 the number sign is six on mute uh, and just listen to the people pray. Because they know you on there, they want you to testify on your name, and then they uh all that trying to get some uh funds and things and uh you ones just doing these prayer lines like that, you ought to be ashamed of yourself and quit misleading these people. Quit misleading these people, acting like you care about them so much and you don't care unless they giving some money. A lot of them not recognized unless they giving some money. And that's not right. That's not of the Lord. That's not of the Lord. And so you got to be careful as you use these prayer lines. You do like me. Just call in there and just put yourself on mute where you can just listen to them. They don't know you on now. Because see, this is the kind of day and time. It's sad to say this, but this is the kind of day and time that we living in. We living in days like this. Well, people, they don't care. They just want your money. They want to act like they praying for you and all that. They ain't pray. They may pray, but they, it, when it comes to the bottom line, it's about that M-O-N-E-Y. And you got to be aware. And I'm coming here today to make you aware. Be careful of these schisms and schasms. And, you know, the prayer lines are beautiful. You know? But don't, the people who run in these prayer lines, don't use it to get money for your uh, uh, organization group. Don't use it to be using these people. Making these people give all their money, their life savings, and they quit scamming these people. That's why they got American greed. American greed, that people that scam so many people. And then another thing I'm coming to you today. I'm not coming fussing by nothing. I just want to talk on these subjects. Because I hope one day I get me a talk show. I want me a talk show. Because see, I want to know why all these people, all these people with Donald Trump, and he cusses us out. He cusses us out. But one thing he told the black community, your schools are no good. Your neighborhoods are no good. So just vote for me. What you got to leave? And he went lying. He went lying, you know. But I was so shocked and I was kind of hurt that he got in because I just knew that Hillary had got it. I just knew Hillary had got it. And when they said him, uh, Donald Trump, I said, oh, my Lord, you know. But even though Donald Trump is there, we're going to pray for him. You know, we're going to pray for him that uh, God uses him in the way that the Lord wanted to use Donald Trump. You know, we just got to pray for whoever's in office. Because, you know, when it comes to these politics and things. These politics, these people, all of them is something else. All of these people from Russia, all of them. I don't really understand it all, but I know something ain't right. Something ain't right. And they just, just stumping over the people. And I'm going to tell you something. These Mexican people, when Donald Trump, a lot of them was crying and scared because... <laughs> 
They scared they gotta go back over there. The ones ain't got no green cards. The ones don't have the they green got. Green they scared green. they gonna have to go back. And they fat, and a lot of them had babies here, and they had to leave their babies. And they, if they ain't born here, but I hope it be worked out where their families won't get split up like that. Because uh, that's a form. Of, remember when we was uh, back in the day, we wasn't here, but our forefathers, how the slave masters split our families up. And, and, and we didn't know where our families was because Massa, Massa split us up and split our families up and raping our women and probably raping the men and all that, you know, all that probably was going on. You know, all this has been going on from the beginning of time. So, you know, uh, that's the way it was. But uh, I just been thinking about a lot of things in my life. I'm 58 years old. I'm thinking about a lot of things. My church life, I'm a coached girl. I grew up in Church of God in Christ all my life. And that's what I know. Which Church of God in Christ is very different now. It's not like it used to be. You know, uh, like the Bible say, things gonna get worse and that includes your church too. Uh, it's a whole lot of things going on, but I remember back in the day when me and my sisters and my brother, we sung in a greater Northwest, uh, church choir, you know, and went to choir rehearsal. We had youth retreats. I mean, it was really beautiful. It was really nice. We had a t togetherness. All the members, Marlon, Deborah Jackson, and Oh, Lord, the Wilsons, the Bostons, uh, uh, Polly, you know, all them, you know, Lockett's, uh, so many families, Tyra, uh, her family and all them, you know, so many different generations of families went to Northwest and we all have something in common about that. We had a good time. Oh, we had a good time praising the Lord. I got saved there. And later on, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I mean, I met the Lord there. And, and I love that place, you know. Uh, and I'm praying for a greater Northwest each and every day of my life. You know, the new uh, leadership that's there. I pray for them, you know, and everything. Uh, so, you know, as we get older, we start to think back and think about where the Lord has brought us from. And where he carried us to. And as you get older and, and, and wiser, you learn to thank God for everything. Thank God for sleep. Thank God for breath in our bodies. You learn to love him. And he wants you just loving. Tell him all day how much you love him. Hallelujah. Tell him all day how much you love him. You know. Because God is the reason that we're here. We're all here. And, and, and the reason why I talk about the Lord so much, because it's so real. And so many people is just so messed up. They real messed up. And they, a lot of them is in that state of mind and don't realize they messed up. You know, and don't even want no help for it. And when I see that, it just brings tears to my heart. That they in that state of mind. It makes me thank God that he has me on the right track with him. You know, and to look to him for everything in my life. And I can discern a lot of these things, you know. Uh, that's not right. And the Holy Ghost give me what to say. And the Holy Ghost tell me, shut up. Don't you say that. And I shut my mouth. I don't say a word. I just go to praying for them. That's why a lot of times when uh, you see something ain't right, a lot of times you can't say that. You got to go to that in prayer. You can't be mixed up in it. But you go to it in prayer. You ask God to help you. You know, help you or help the people. Or what's going on? You know. Because there's so much of this things going on that's not like the Lord. And you got to be aware. You ask God for discernment. Number one, ask God to save you. Say, Lord, I want to be saved. Save me, Lord. 
And when you ask God and you know he'll save you, he'll save you. You know, that's why I pray for our new president. Uh, Trump will be inaugurated January the 20th. Now, I don't know who going to go to the inauguration. I have no idea. You know, I know uh, Hillary Clinton, she got to be there, you know. But uh, I just pray for him and the Putins, the Russians, you know. They over here, you know, whatever's going on with that. And, and I'm asking God to help me understand because I can't understand it. Especially when Donald Trump call us stupid and call us fools. Mr. Trump, don't cuss us out no more. Don't cuss us out. Because we constantly praying for you. You know, and God loves you. Now, you got in office, ain't had no presidential experience. Not. And you got an office. God blessed you to get an office. And you got up there. Now, do us right. Do us right. You know. And look to the Lord, Mr. Trump. Look to the Lord because you're not no spring chicken. You older now. Cause you, come on now. You know. And I just thank God for all of my YouTube viewers. I thank God for you. And you pray for me each and every day of your life. And I'll pray for you too. Keep me lifted up in prayer. Because I love each and every one of you. I want to help people. You know, and I ask God to give me the strength and give me the wisdom and the knowledge. I got enough. I got six grandkids that I'm helping. But, you know, I'm out in the world working now. I work for the state of North Carolina. Like I said, I have two master's degrees. MSM, Master of Science and Management and Organizational Leadership. And I have another one, MBA. Masters of MBA, uh, Masters of Science in Business Administration. And my doctoral degree will be in business, a PhD in Business Administration. And the thing is with me, you know, I love research. I love writing papers. I look at detail. And I love people. And I thank God he gave me the wisdom not to go this far in my education, on the job. I work with different groups of people. I'm working with all different groups of people. I see a lot because I work for the state of North Carolina Human Services Employment. So I see a lot. And then I come home with my grandchildren. Uh, which is a little older now. The youngest one. All of them in school all day. So that's how I can do that. But I thank God for that. I thank God for where he brought me from. And where he's carried me to. I thank him. Because I love him so much. And when I see these things going on. I just want to talk to you about it. You know. Because I don't know if you all feel the same way I do. But I see a lot of those things ain't right. When I hear a lot of, and then what's the killing part when I go back to the prayer line issue? It's all kind of people coming up with prayer, their own prayer lines. Money! Money! M O N E Y. And that's what they want. But come on now. Come on, be sincere. Be careful. Care for the soul. Don't worry about no money. Because see, God, that's all, man. God will bless you with that. But the love of it is the sin. When you want to get on the prayer line and just raise money and get these people, all these people, and know they, know they uh, upset and know they upset with life. Some of them about to commit suicide. Don't play with their lives like that. Don't play with their lives like that. And don't be lying to these people. Don't be lying to them. Put Father, Son, and Holy Ghost on each dollar bill. That's a lie. Ain't no scripture to back that up. Ain't no scripture to back that up. Now, come on now. Stop all this. God, that's ugly. God don't like that. And people don't get on now. 
Don't support them. Don't support them. You know. And uh, you go to church. There's nothing wrong with, you know, if you have to listen to a repertoire or a, 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 a decent prayer line. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, let me discourage you that. And read your word. Live on the word of God. Like I said, download it in your phone. And download your and you get up and read that word. You'll be surprised how that word take you all during the day. But you being unaware. It'll take you all during the day. Now, it's time for me to end. I got to go get another subject for y'all. I got to get another topic for you. Like I say, I want to have my own talk show. Hallelujah, I have my own talk show. With all the everybody, no matter who they is. Everybody on my talk show. I don't care what they is. They come on Sister Pam's talk show. Sister Mother Pam talk show. Now, until next time. I love you and you got all you got all my kisses. I love you so much. Till next time. More blessings. In Jesus name. Amen.